The Swapo Party Youth League, in conjunction with the National Youth Council, organized a consultative meeting with all political party youth wings. It was poorly attended with only the Swapo and Rally for Democracy and Progress youth wings present. But the meeting nonetheless went ahead. The discussions were aimed at identifying youth opportunities in the plan and how they can benefit from it. These include the 121 youth-owned rural enterprises and other opportunities presented by the construction industry and servicing of plots. Young people can benefit from all these opportunities as they move towards social progression either through youth forums or in organized groups. These forums are very broad-based and representative in nature and it is our intention to leverage them to create enterprises for those youth who are going through the programs. While all these seem appetizing, concerns on transparency regarding beneficiary identification, monitoring and accountability were raised. If this initiative uh, around the prosperity plan is going to pick up, accountability will have to be in the forefront. But we cannot have accountability if there is no collective effort from various stakeholders. We want to eliminate the practice where one person has ultimate authority, has arbitrary authority that is subject to scrutiny from no other person. Presidential advisor on youth matters and enterprise, Desri Matthias, cautioned that young people should not see themselves as beneficiaries of the plan only, but that they too should play their part to ensure the successful implementation of the plan.